This case revolves around a 19-year-old Shade Robinson who vanished after going on a first date with a person who is now the main suspect in her murder case. Stay to the end of this video to find out how your engagement to this video can help this case receive money donations from this channel. Shade Robinson is a 19-year-old Milwaukee resident. Robinson went missing after meeting Maxwell Anderson, 33, on a first date on April 1, 2024. CCTV camera footage shows the two at Twisted Fisherman, a restaurant in Milwaukee. Data obtained by investigators shows that Robinson traveled from the restaurant to the area of Dukes on Water and then to the area of Anderson's house. Yeah, they say this is very unlike her. They're a very close-knit family that's always keeping tabs on each other. Robinson's mother says that she's worried sick and heartbroken. So we spent Easter Sunday with my baby Sunday over here by my parents. Sheena Scarborough recalling the last time she saw her daughter, 19-year-old Shade Carlina Robinson. It was like, you know, a normal family visit. Like, we had a good engagement. Milwaukee police say someone last saw Shade the next day, Monday, April 1st, at her home near Commerce and Pleasant. Scarborough says she last heard from her daughter via text Monday afternoon. We talk every day. We're a very close-knit family. Scarborough says after Shade didn't show up for work Tuesday at Pizza Shuttle, a co-worker called Milwaukee police and asked them to do a welfare check. Police didn't find her, but Scarborough says detectives did find her daughter's car burnt near 30th and Lisbon. That's about two miles from her home. What do you think? happened to her. Somebody harmed or hurt my daughter. Robinson was studying criminal justice at MATC, had two jobs and was about to join the Air Force. Family says she wouldn't just go off on her own. Her family's begging for her safe return. She's scheduled to graduate next month. Her birthday is May the 10th. Shadi Sheena, that's my baby. Just so much heartbreak there. Emily, her mother says the last text message from her daughter seemed unusual. Yeah, her mom says that she asked for money, which is uncharacteristic of her. MPD says that she is still considered critically missing. Police searched the Warren Knot Park where the investigators found a severed leg 11 miles from Robinson's burnt car. CCCTV camera footage shows Anderson leaving the scene and getting on a Milwaukee County Transit bus heading to his home. On April 4th, Anderson was arrested. Authorities gained access to his home and blood was found on bedding in one of the bedrooms. On April 6th, investigators found another human foot while searching in the area of 31st and Galena. The foot appeared to match the one found in Warnock Park. Authorities say that Anderson has a criminal history especially domestic violence the stories we've been covering for more than a week. The missing woman Robinson and body parts discovered in several locations throughout the city and county. Prosecutors now say at least two of those body parts are shot a Robinson's and officers are looking for more of them. We have team coverage for you tonight of this breaking news. CBS 58's Taj Mahal and Bryant McRae will have details on the investigation, but we start with Adam Reif live from Anderson's South Side home breaking down the new information tonight. Adam. And this home is where prosecutors say Maxwell Anderson killed Shade Robinson after the two went on a date last Monday. A few blocks away is where Anderson was taken into custody a few days later. In moments, you will see new video of that arrest in progress. Now, this case is bringing into light the story that has simmered in the shadows for days. While a concerned family was looking for a missing woman, body parts were turning up all across the city of Milwaukee. And now, we have more information on why. Sick son of a bitch. Hurt my baby. Sheena Scarborough did not hold back. Sick son of a bitch. Wanna pay. Her hatred for Maxwell Anderson was evident from the moment her daughter's alleged killer walked into the courtroom. Prosecutors say Anderson and Shade Robinson went out to two restaurants and bars the night of April 1st, then returned to Anderson's home on South 39th Street. They say at some point that night, Anderson killed Robinson, dismembered her body, then drove her car around while he scattered the body parts in various places. The allegations in the complaint are abhorrent. 
Um, it was the highest level of violence imaginable. Anderson also did Sade's car and lit it on fire. He spoke just once during Friday's hearing. Do you understand the maximum potential penalties? Yes, Your Honor. Anderson's attorney first tried to get the homicide charge thrown out. And there's nothing in here that says that she died at Mr. Anderson's home. Sade's mother again lashed out. So I'd ask you to dismiss that count before we address Sh Anderson's attorney then alluded to Anderson being innocent. Had Mr. Anderson been involved in this, this horrible tragedy, we would expect one to flee. But bail was ultimately set at $5 million. Sade's family had been searching for her ever since her disappearance. Authorities used phone records, surveillance video, and home security video to close in on Anderson. He was arrested Thursday, April 4th. Friday brought some answers for the family, but also more questions. What the do something like this to my beautiful baby? She hurt nobody. And little closure. Me and my family would never be okay. Imagine trying to bury your niece with nobody for the service. And prosecutors say there are still missing body parts as they continue to look for all the human remains from Sade Robinson. Maxwell Anderson will return to court one week from Monday. Live here in Milwaukee, Adam Rife, CBS 58 News. Such a tough story, Adam. Thank you. And we have been working to get answers to this story from law enforcement about this case for more than a week now. And today, after days of silence, we're finally hearing from the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office and the Milwaukee Police Department. CBS 58's Taj Mahal joins us live in studio with more on the investigation. Tajma? Amanda Jessup, a joint press conference was held this morning. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office and Milwaukee Police, along with assistance from several other agencies, worked closely to connect the dots on this investigation, starting with the discovery of the severed leg at Warnemont Park. And so uh, the leg was amputated from the uh, around the hip down. As a result, the leg appeared to be that of an African-American female. Subsequently, a Milwaukee police officer who was aware of our investigation raised the possibility that the leg may be related to a missing person investigation that they were conducting. The missing person was 19 year old Shade Robinson and we now know the leg discovered belonged to her. During a news conference, Sheriff Danita Ball and Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman confirmed many of the details listed in the criminal complaint against Maxwell Anderson, including a timeline of how the investigation began. On Wednesday, April the 4th, our investigation led to a person of interest, Maxwell Stephen Anderson. After the severed leg was recovered, Milwaukee police discovered Shade Robinson's car had been set on fire. The arson investigation led police to the discovery of other human remains found in Milwaukee. Video surveillance recovered from the arson investigation led investigators to search the area of 3000 West Galena Street. On Friday, April 5th, investigators located human remains in the area. Officials say the remains found at multiple locations in Milwaukee are still being processed for official identification, although Sheriff Ball says they do not believe multiple victims are involved. Sheriff Ball also told me that search efforts in this investigation are not over. Are you still searching for remains for Ms. Robinson? Yes, we are. And Sheriff Ball says right now they do not know where those remains might be. I also asked her about the reports of a sex dungeon found inside Anderson's home. Ball declined to provide any further details on that or anything else found during the search of his home. There are still many questions here among them where Robinson was killed and how. Trudging through the woods. Family and friends of Sade Robinson are determined to find clues in the disappearance of the Milwaukee woman. Well, I got off of work for her because I would do anything for her because, like I said, she didn't deserve this. It was at Pizza Shuttle where Ivalice Martinez worked alongside Sade for three years and says the 19-year-old was full of joy and love for her friends. She's just a generous person in general. Like, I don't remember one day that she was, you know, angry or upset. Now Martinez is joining the search countless others have started over the past week. It's devastating. You always see this stuff on the news, but you never think it'd be one of your friends. Martinez showed me photos of her and Sade that bring her peace as the days carry on and her absence gets harder. It brings me more to heartbreak, like 
I, I still can't believe this is happening. It's not easy yeah. losing someone you love, mm. blood or not, you know. The mystery behind Sade's disappearance has been a nightmare for the woman's family, who now share to GoFundMe to help with funeral costs once they are able to lay her to rest. But officials haven't released new information on the investigation. We asked Mayor Cavalier Johnson his thoughts on the case that's left the community on edge. As this investigation continues, and it is still obviously an active uh, investigation, I've been asked uh, by law enforcement uh, not to uh, reveal anything um, at the moment because the investigation is still ongoing. I know that those agencies take this uh, very, very seriously uh, and will approach it with due diligence. As loved ones wait to learn more, Martinez and other Pizza Shuttle employees are lifting up their friend. She was an angel. As they continue their search. Here are some social media reactions regarding this case. Gotta start doing background checks on these men. Such a beautiful young lady, what is wrong with this world? Besides drugs, a total lack of morals. So sad for her family. People got to stop meeting people online and following them home. We have to use our sense God gave us. Praying for her family. This channel gives viewers a chance to vote each week for a case to which the channel will donate money. You can vote by liking and commenting on this video, and the video with the most engagement for each week will be chosen for monetary donations. This is a way you can give back and make an impact if you do not have the funds to give directly. Details are in the description. This channel has already given donations to different families and organizations. Thanks for watching.